contest started, the following is a triple threat match for the KWA Heartland Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more in-ring competition. Another championship matchup, Christian. My apologies there, Walker. I had to make sure Johnny Faith was okay. And uh, coming from the back, it seems the initial reports is uh, after that last knee to the back of Johnny Faith's head, that he is uh, getting checked right now from the ringside physicians for a possible concussion here. So. Uh, Obviously, uh, to get an update, folks, we will be sure to let you know as the show goes on. And uh, obviously, the best wishes to Johnny Cope here. Hopefully, it's nothing serious after what we saw. But uh, yes, right now, moving on to a triple threat match for the KWA Heartland title. And right now in the ring, the golden boy himself, Salina favorite, Paradox in the ring. A man who is no stranger to championship gold, Paradox is out to win another one. I do say so myself, one of the most intimidating and one of the most hard-hitting competitors to ever hold the KWA Heartland Championship. It is Remington Roar. The carnivore has entered the Serengeti. Right now, he not only carries the gold, the Heartland title, but he carries the scars that he has suffered from weeks after weeks of battling all across the nation. And let me tell you something, folks. This man loves to fight, and he loves to use his weaponry to his advantage. But now we bring out the third individual. Christian Temple, we have been caught in the crossfire here tonight. As the king of WrestleCore himself, Kit Reaver, makes his way down to ringside. And he has done so with a lot of confidence, a level of suavity that I have not seen here before in XWE. This is a man who is ready and tested. For competition. Absolutely nothing and no one is safe when the former XWE champion Kip Reaver enters the arena and right now the crowd showing their love as he looks to add another accolade to his already impressive resume. Former XWE heavyweight champion looking to become KWA Heartland champion. You know that he has all of the tools needed to become you Heartland first, champion. The challengers. From Dixon, Kansas, weighing in at 185 pounds, the Golden Boy Paradox! Looking to get back what he lost against the man that took it from him. Introducing next, Kit Reaver! As I mentioned, looking to add an 
another heavyweight title to his resume. And next, escaping from the Sedgwick County Zoo, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the KWA Heartland Champion, the Carnivore, Remington Roar! Remington Roar has held the Heartland title ever since defeating Paradox back at Wrestle Brawl 2, and he has been a dominant champion everywhere he's gone across the United States. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, did I hear that Remington Roar is... is recently been freed from the Sedgwick County Zoo? They let him out on weekends. On weekends? <laughs> he is making good use of his time here tonight as he is defending the KWA Harlan Championship against two very worthy competitors, if you would say. Once again, no champion's advantage this time. It's one fall to a finish. The champion does not have to be pinned or submitted in order to lose the title. So all three of these men sizing each other up here, and uh, as we can tell, Remington wore a uh, very distinct size advantage over both Paradox and Kit Reaver. Definitely know that's going to make Remington Roar a prime target in this matchup. And trying to use that Whoa. size for his advantage. Deceptively quick is the big man, Remington Roar. Kit Reaver firing back now. Oof. Paradox now trying to get a couple of shots in of his own. You see on the back of Remington Roar those battle scars that you spoke on earlier. Prolific death match professional wrestler, but he knows how to tangle it up without using any weaponry. That's exactly how he became KWA Heartland Champion. And that's the scary thing. He is a dominant death match performer, and he is even more devastating as a competitor in just straight wrestling even. He doesn't need weapons to get the job done, but boy, when he has them in his hands, he is a force to be reckoned with and then saw. And of course, this is a triple threat contest, so of course there is no disqualification. You never know what you're going to see out of Remington Roar right now. Paradox now, Irish whip out of the corner to Reaver. Referee Zeb in charge of this matchup here. Paradox with the advantage so far over Kit Reaver, which got to watch out for Remington Roar looming in the background. Paradox now, Irish whip once again. Full steam ahead, the shoulder thrust directly into the sternum of Reaver. Reaver taking advantage now, sliding through. Looking for that forearm smash, and he nails it right on the chin of Paradox. What's the strategy have to be for Paradox in this matchup here, Christian? Paradox has to use his flying skills. That's what's brought him to the dance. That's what's brought him multiple championships in his illustrious career here in XWE. If he can get those flying going and eventually find a way to hit that go to sleep on one of these competitors, we could have a new Heartland champion here tonight. There's potential for anything here tonight. Remington Roar, this is a man. I see a lot of Japanese influence within his style, especially of the Big Japan Pro Wrestling variety. Remington Roar is an incredible in-ring competitor in all regards, and he's putting that on display right now live in Salina, Kansas. Remington Roar, a huge fan of the hardcore style, as we mentioned, but also very versed in the hardcore style against against individuals that have competed on a worldwide basis. We're talking the Necro Butcher, Madman Pondo, names from CZW, the IWA Productions, and of course, the Deathmatch Wrestling Promotions in Japan. Remington Roar has tore it up with many of them. What an outstanding maneuver by Kit Reaver there, taking both men down to the mat. The referee said that Paradox's shoulders were not down. Remington Roar still has to find a way to a pinning attempt eventually. Kit Reefer, though, he finds himself in a great position right now. So far, but just as easily, Remington Roar can switch the momentum in a, in a heartbeat here, and those devastating strikes. Ooh, knockout punches there. Now looking to set Kit Reaver up. Is he going to throw him across the ring? He launches people so easily. It's a powerful man. A large and powerful being is Remington Roar. I have been in the ring with all three of these individuals, and I have to say, when Remington Roar, he gets you up in the air like that, and he, <laughs> there's no coming down easy. There's no easy landing, but Paradox able to, able to escape. That was probably the best case scenario for Paradox in that situation. Off the ropes goes Paradox with a knee strike. It's gonna take a couple more of those to wear Remington Roar down. That's what he needs, but Remington Roar. A strong grip, and then able to take the advantage down in that, uh, that 
hard head of his that has felt the wrath of many weapons, including light tubes, chairs, you name it. It's probably been broken across it. Look at this again, going for the Gorilla Press. Look at the strength oh on to Kit Reaver. Wait a minute. Wait into the cover is Paradox. Only a two count, though. We nearly had a new KWA Heartland champion. An impressive feat of strength by Remington Roar, but it almost led to his downfall. We almost had a new Heartland champion. Oh, impressive suplex there. Just threw him across the ring. The knee being driven directly into the back of Paradox. This is a man, one, one of the most decorated champions or people that ever hold championships here in XWE across KWA, of course. Absolutely, a multi-time tag team champion with former partner Colton Alexander of the Para Rock Stars. Held the United Liberty Championship on multiple occasions and is a former heavyweight champion of XWE. And as we mentioned, he was the one that was dethroned by by Remington Roar, hoping to get his title back here tonight. Paradox. Yeah, well placed stomp right to the stomach. You can see that standing moonsault here. And we hit it. One, two for the new title. No. Flawless execution on that standing moonsault by Paradox. As I mentioned earlier, he loves to fly and he uses his legs. He uses his legs to great, great success. The Heartland Championship is a beautiful piece of gold. You know, Paradox wants it back around that golden waist, but what Remington strength. Roar, he caught him. The power of Remington Roar, the carnivores down into the cover again. Two, no. Kit Reaver able to break it up just in time. It's interesting. Kit Reaver forces Remington Roar down, but didn't realize that Paradox was on top of him, now laying the stomps on him. These Danielson style stomps, they're incredibly effective. There's no way to really maneuver your way out of those temples. Kit Reaver trying to wear each opponent down to where he can hit that double stomp off the top rope that has won him championships across the Midwest. Focusing his attention back now on Paradox. And this crowd is oh, it. He's looking for the GTS now. Oh, he could be looking for it here. Not enough. Well, wait a minute now. Fireman's carry of his own. Could he be looking for the GTS? Oh! No. A very creative innovation of the GTS with the super kick. No! Just not enough. Kit Reaver now. Thinking out his strategy, what is he going to do now? He has to be wary of Remington Roar gaining his win back in the corner. And at this point in the matchup, we see the three men in the ring creating separation between one another. We're at a 33% split here right now, Christian Temple. It's only got to take a one percentage difference for this to be over, for this matchup to be done. Kid Reaver looking for that farm smash again. He nails it. I'm going to hit Remington Roar now. Once again. Back to Paradox. Yeah, just you see the change in direction here, subverting the expectations. No one knows where Kit Reaver is going to be next. Unpredictable doesn't even begin to describe Kit Reaver, but oh my goodness, that bear hug. He didn't predict that one. Definitely no. Oh. Belly to belly overhead press. Remington Roar getting his wits about him now too. Kit Reaver is down and now looks like he's going to turn his attention on the former champion Paradox. Oh, just driving that shoulder into the gut of Paradox there. Knocking the wind out of him. Yeah, the carnivore going full oh. head of speed. It's like a rhinoceros charging. You can't stop him. Remington Roar is one of the most devastating competitors you will find this side of the border. Wait a minute. Got him caught. Team oh on suplex. God. Good Lord. Have you ever been so mad you throw one man into another man? That's Remington Roar. I don't know who got worse for wear on that one. But not enough. Yeah, only a two count. Kit Reaver, though, he's lucky that he's... Landed on the apron at this very moment. He could have very well could have been the end of this matchup too. Remington Roar just 
just picking him oh up straight Josh. from the ground. The strength of Roar cannot be denied in the slightest. The carnivore having his way with Paradox. Look at Reaver though. Oh! Taking the legs out of the big man, smart. Sizing him up now. There's that curb stop, and now we know what that leads to. He's looking for that double stomp off the top rope on Remington Roar. Yeah, he's calling for it. Kit Reaver, he's won many a championship with this in the past. Is tonight the night for Kit Reaver? Nails it! And we might have a new KWA Heartland champion. Wait a minute. This could be the GTS here. Paradox, he's trying to look for it. Go GTS! To sleep. GTS! Reaver on Dream Street here. It is night night for Kit Reaver. Wait a minute. Remington Roar is already on his feet. Yeah, look behind you. The Carnivore strikes here tonight. Oh no, he's looking for the Primal Driver. Nails it. And that's got to be it for the XWE Heartland Championship. That's it. What an epic matchup we just witnessed here. The Carnivore, Remington Roar, defying the offs, defeating two men, and still remains the KWA Heartland Champion. I'm absolutely impressed with these two opponents here tonight. And still, the KWA Heartland Champion, Remington Very impressed with his two opponents here tonight, but you gotta give the man his due. Remington Roar is a world-class athlete, a powerful competitor. And Christian Temple, I gotta be frank with you tonight. I don't know if I can picture anyone taking that championship from Remington Roar anytime soon. I mean, think about this. He took a double stop from the top rope from Kid Reaver, a move that has downed many an opponent. I mean, we're talking Kuda, Trey Gallus, the list goes on and on. And it did not take him but a, a few moments to get back to his feet and take advantage of a situation. Paradox not paying attention. The primal driver leads to the 1-2-3. Still the Heartland champion, Remington Moore. Let's hear it for our challengers, Kit Reaver and Pay. 